Hey guys, I got a new video for you today and this is going to be a look at a new pair of Oakley sunglasses that I just received. Uh, I actually rushed out and purchased these as soon as I saw them. I didn't know anything about them, but you know, being an, uh, a YouTube content creator, especially in the Oakley market, um, I knew the importance of being the first one to get the video out. So that's primarily the reason why I picked these up. I didn't know anything about them, so I figured most people wouldn't know either, and they would want to come to a video to um, kind of see what they were all about. Now, I'm going to forego my regular methodology of doing my reviews, which is where I start with the kind of tabletop unboxing and stuff like that, and I'm going to go straight to the fit um, so you guys can see what they look like. And the reason that I'm doing that is because um, the you know the packaging for this wasn't anything spe special or out of the ordinary it was your regular black standard packaging box that the majority of Oakley glasses come in so I figured a lot of people like to see the way that they look so I'll go ahead and put them on so here they are now um, I'm gonna be talking a little bit about these glasses and in certain instances I'm pretty sure a lot of people are going to wonder um, why I'm saying the things that I'm saying so as you can see this is the new pair of fuel cells no, just kidding. This is a new model called the Heliostat, and I'm hoping I'm saying that correctly. But first things first, when you look at them straight on, don't they look like a regular pair of fuel cells? Um, the only way that you can tell that this is a different model is when you actually turn your head and you look at the stems, all right? That's how you can tell that it's not a fuel cell and it's actually a different model. Now, when I saw them on the website, I was a little iffy about them, but I decided to go ahead and pick them up. Again, being a content creator and being the first one to get the video out is what kind of motivated me to get them. Had that not been the case, I probably would not have picked up this model. But again, you know, um, you live and you learn, you pick them up, you take a look at them for yourself, and now they are part of my collection. So again, this particular one is in the polished black frame with the prism ruby lenses. Um, this is a nice and timeless color combination. I do enjoy the black and red combination, so that's why I decided to pick them up in this color. Um, they do have a couple other models available. Now, I actually picked these up through the Standard Issue website. I'm not sure if it's available on the regular Oakley website yet or even at the Oakley stores. I haven't been out to, to my local stores in a couple of weeks, so I don't know what their inventory is like. But again, I picked it up on the Standard Issue site. Now, um, as I mentioned, there's a couple of different colors available. So I am going to go ahead and do a tabletop comparison um, of this model and the fuel cell, um, uh, you know, right after I, I show you guys the way that they look like here. But just for comparison, I'm going to go ahead and put on the fuel cells. Um, this is just one of the models that I had available. So I don't know if you guys can make it out, but they look very, very similar. And I would almost, uh, I would not hesitate to say they look identical when you look at them straight on. So I don't know if you can tell by the tone of my voice, I am not very happy with this model. And that's very difficult for me to say because I love Oakley. Uh, I love their innovation and stuff like that. But once in a while, they, um, they you know, they, they kind of rely on uh, putting out more of the same. And I think that's probably the best way to describe this model. It's more of the same. Why come out with something like this when you already have the fuel cell, which a lot of people love? I can tell you this is a great pair for somebody with a wider face. Um, it's going to fit very nicely, very comfortable. Uh, it's nice and lightweight thanks to the old matter frame. But as far as design stylings, I think they missed the mark on this one. I'll go ahead and showcase the side still again so you guys can see the stems. But just from the stems, from the look of them, to the, the icon that they chose to use. They chose to use a very tiny elliptical icon. And again, I always say, why not break up the, um, the look of these? Why not throw a team red icon in there to kind of match the prism ruby lenses? Wouldn't that look really nice? A uh, nice contrast of a, of a red icon right there. But again, they chose to go with the tiny elliptical icon when they could have gone with something a little bit bigger, like a square icon. You see what they did here? It's a blue frame, you know, so they threw in the gray icon in there to kind of, you know, break up the, um, the look of it. It gives it a little bit of contrast. Looks really nice from far away. Looks really nice from up close. A nice big icon to fit those large, large stems. I'll put on the helo stat again so you guys can see the tiny little elliptical icon they put on there. All right, so enough of that. I'm going to go ahead and turn the camera on, give you a tabletop view, and I compare them side by side with the fuel cell. All right, guys. So here they are side by side. Again, the Heliostat on the, so on the left here, and then the fuel cell on the right. 
they look virtually identical, all right? If you hadn't seen the previous shot, you know, of me wearing them, you would say that these are two pair of fuel cells sitting right in front of you. But let's go ahead and take a look, or a closer look, at the helostat. Again, this one is in the polished black frame with prism ruby lenses. Um, I've got a fingerprint on this. Let me go ahead and clean that off of there. So, uh, again, prism ruby lenses are great. I love the, uh, the way that they look, especially with the black. So, from, a, um, from that standpoint, I really do like it. Polished black, I like that. Um, prism ruby, I like that. But then you go ahead and open up the stems. And here they are. They are, you know, fairly large, fairly tall, I would say. Um, and then they go and put in this little tiny elliptical icon. Doesn't really take up a lot of room on the uh, the stems here. Um, I it, and I feel like it was an afterthought almost. Like they they said, hey, you know, if we put in the uh, square o, it's going to look too much like a feel so. Well, again, more of the same. You know, why come out with a model like this and not do a drastic change? So if you're going to come out with a model that looks like a fuel, from, fuel cell from the front, why not switch this up, this stem right here up, and make it look completely different? That way, at least it will entice somebody to buy. Why would I buy this model when the fuel cell is still available? So here it is. It goes straight back. It's a nice wrap. It's got a nice wrap to it. Obviously, it's going to do what a pair of glasses like this is going to do, which is block out a lot of the sun, a lot of the glare coming in from the sides, from the top and the bottom and stuff like that. But just aesthetically speaking, I, I just don't like them. Again, I don't like them because there's something like this. You see how much nicer the, the, the clean lines that this has? You see how much room the square o takes up on the side right here? It makes it look so much nicer. So... You know, why go for the heliostat when the fuel cell is still available? And again, this might be a model that some people do like, and that's primarily the reason why I do these videos also, to get them out there, because if somebody wants to make an informed decision, if they're going to purchase something, then this video is available for you to see. But I don't, I don't necessarily have to like all of them. You know, I, I, for the most part, I do, and that's pri primarily the reason why I purchase them, not just for the videos, but because they've become part of my collection. Now, this is going to be in my collection now because it's just another pair of um, glasses that Oakley came out with. I just wish they would have put a little bit more thought into it. That's it. Um, you know, they, they kind of made it where the fuel cell has this little wing right here, and it cuts up to the top, and it makes the stems a little bit thinner. I just kept it thicker on the side right here but the stems themselves are very thin that's one of the things that you could feel right off the bat the stems on the fuel cell are nice and thick they, they feel robust they feel like they're going to hold up to usage wear and tear and stuff like that versus on the heliostat they just feel really thin somewhat flimsy somewhat cheap i would say um, they're all matter so they're both going to be nice and lightweight but I think if I had to choose between one or the other, I would definitely choose the fuel cell, primarily in looks, aesthetics, the way that it looks. I like the way the fuel cell looks better than the heliostat. Now, I don't know if there is anything right now that would make me choose the heliostat over the fuel cell um, and it, as the way that it sits right now. Maybe if they were to revamp the icon you know, make it a little bit bigger, or again, do something else with the stem. The only thing that they have, and you can't really make it out, is this part right here actually comes up, and then it goes down like that. So there is a little dis design styling right there, but it gets lost. From far away, you can't even see that. It gets lost. It's not until you actually come up close, and you have to see it on the right light to be able to see that. Again, a frame like a polished black is not the best example of what to look for in frame stylings, but you know, you can see this from far away. You can see that there's a section up here. There's a line that goes right through here. You have the little wing down here, your larger um, square icon right there. It looks really nice. Again, when these close, you can see the cutout right there where the this section of the icon kind of meets the frame. On the heliostat here, it's just straight down, right? Nothing, no stylings whatsoever. Again, it just kind of looks like they decided to come out with something that was more of the same. So I just wanted to go ahead and get this video out there in case somebody is looking for these. You know, they can get an honest opinion from myself. Um, you know, you might still like it by all means if you decide that you do like it and want to check it out for yourself. Go ahead and, um, and pick them up. It's, it's, an, it's a pair of Oakleys, so you can't go wrong with having a pair of Oakleys. It's just, again, when you compare them side by side, 
I would always choose the fuel cell over those. So there it is, just a quick look at the Oakley Helial Stat and the polished black frame with Prism Ruby lenses. Let me know if you guys have any questions. Thanks.